So I am taking you on a ride with me in experiment land. Um, this is just something I wanted to try and play with and I thought why not record it and take y'all with me. So I have a vinyl star stuck on a Santorini. I did spray seal it with a Rust-Oleum matte two times spray because I don't want the ink to just immediately soak into the rock. So I'm using a red and a blue alcohol ink and I will post the brand and the colors in the description box below. So I put this a little alcohol which is what's in that little spray bottle and then I put the ink and blew it with a straw. And now I'm using the alcohol blending solution with the ink and all I'm doing is, is experimenting and seeing what works the best and you know how I should do it. So then I took a little ink on the parchment paper and used a brush and tried to blend it in. And now I'm doing the blue and that I kind of blew from the top rather than the side and I liked how that did better. And it kind of did more of the effect that I wanted. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth until I kind of get a look around the star that I want. And um, I got it a little dark in that section so I took a little bit of alcohol blending solution and kind of tried to get some of the, the color out and then I put some more blue on it. So, like I said, this is all an experiment. Now I'm putting white and I'm just playing. But I was super happy with the end result. So, um, that's basically what alcohol ink is. It's playing around, trying different things, figuring it out, what works, what doesn't. Now this is the Marabou um, Rainbow Additive. And really what it does is just add some really fine glitter on there. So after I got the red and the blue where I wanted it, I put in some of that additive all over the rock to make it sparkly. But I just wasn't done yet. Like I, I, it wasn't to the point where I was happy with it yet. So after this, I'm going to add Kaleidoscope by Ceramicoat and it totally ends up looking like fireworks and I was super happy with it. Um, it came out better than I expected. So I will list everything in the description box that I use. So if you want to try to make this, you can. So now I'm peeling the sticker off and the sticker had been on this rock for a while because it's something I had kind of been planning on doing. I just hadn't decided what colors and then I decided to go with 4th of July. So. The sticker left a little bit of residue on there, which caused some issues, but I worked through it. So now the best way to apply this really thick glitter, it's kind of like glitterific, is with your finger. You can put it where you want it. Um, it's impossible almost to put it on with a brush. So just use your finger and then wash your hands or you can wear a glove. So once that's completely dry, I let it dry overnight. I just sketched out Baby You're a Firework in pencil. And now I'm going over it with my Thule Art Mar uh, paint pens. I'm doing red and blue. Now these Thule Art paint pens have a chisel tip on them and they will splatter. And I did struggle with that, but the, the tips were really fine and that's what I needed at this point so I had a very soft touch I was being super careful I went slow I still had a little splattering here and there but it wasn't bad so just keep note that if you use the Thule Art or anything with a chisel tip Posca has them too the 1Ms are chisel tip you have to be ever so careful a very light hand and go in a one direction to not splatter and it's very difficult but that's what I wanted to use so I just made it work and I did all the downstrokes I thickened the lines a little bit or did the best that I could and then I doodled a firework and some little twirly things and some stars just have fun with it it doesn't have to look exactly like mine um, this is just me experimenting it and sharing it with you and if you want to give it a try um, you can see what I did and hopefully 
make one for yourself. So thank y'all so much for watching this video and for uh, following me along my journey. Um, it really means a lot to me when y'all leave me comments and um, when y'all subscribe. It just really uh, makes me happy. And I love doing kindness rocks and I pass them out whenever I get a chance. And um, that's just what I love to do. So I just appreciate everybody that's, that's um, following my journey. So thank you again for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.